Welcome back. In this video, I'll teach you everything that you need to know about superior vena cava syndrome. This syndrome is basically the result of compression of superior vena cava vein. This vein normally drains the upper part of the body. So when it's compressed, there's going to be stagnation and backing up of blood. And in the areas where the vein normally drains, there's going to be severe edema and redness. So we expect to see edema in the arms, in the neck, and in the head. Edema in the arms can be tolerated, but in the neck and head it can be very fatal, especially if it was very severe, and it can cause aneurysms and aneurysm rupture. So this condition is a medical emergency. Now when it comes to the causes that would compress the superior vena cava, the most common culprit are tumors, especially lung tumors in the upper part, and we call those Pancos tumors. Mediastinal tumors can also compress the superior vena cava. Other causes will include thrombosis of the vein, especially if there was a catheter inserted. And the main symptoms we see, like we said, edema, which blanches after we press on it, headache and confusion due to compression of the brain, and like we said, in fatal cases, aneurysms or aneurysm rupture. To treat it, we simply treat the cause. If there's a clot, we have to take it out, and if there's a tumor, it has to be excised. In certain cases, the rising tumor can compress the brachiocephalic vein instead of compressing the superior vena cava. In this case, we would have identical symptoms to superior vena cava syndrome, except that they would only involve either the right side or the left side. So if you have a case that is identical to superior vena cava, except that only the right hand and right side of the face are edematous, then this is likely brachycephalic syndrome. It's basically the exact same thing, except one-sided. And here's a small quiz. And here is the answer. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching.